the very melancholy story of this, but it's undoubtedly beautiful. Wow. And maybe it was, like, just simple. This is how it happened. These are the individual circumstances of how every single one of this family died in their own way. Nothing mystical about it. Carmen flew off the swing, fell into the rocks. And Molly ate toothpaste to hallucinated her way to death. Something in here is there. I'm wasting my time. Backtracking for no reason. We got one in this room already. As I say, missing things in games like these, especially for a let's play, is like inevitable. Unless you're really doing it with like a walkway. Walkway? A walkthrough. Which I'm not, obviously. But I don't want to. I don't want to miss anything. This is gorgeous. I see it all. Excuse me, chair. Didn't mean to clip through you like that and break immersion. Let's go in here. Whatever this Halloween themed room appears to be next. The passages were a pretty tight fit. They'd obviously been built for smaller hands and bellies. <laughs> this family left his kids. We want to create somewhere wondrous for them. And we've created ourselves a shortcut. So we're going into Barbara's room now. This should be interesting. What's this? Huh. Milton again. Growing up, I always thought of Barbara as a child star. Mm hmm. I mean, she is. I never thought about how hard it must have been for her afterwards. Yeah, you mean when she stopped being that? How old was she when she went? She was 16. I knew that already. I know I keep referring back to that. So sue me. Just to make sure I'm getting it right. To stop being that? Seemingly just before it got good. Of all the stories people wrote about Barbara's death, I'm surprised Edie saved this one. What is... Uh... Oh, Jack here with another ghastly tale inspired by America's most unfortunate family. I'm calling it The Surprise Ending of Barbara Finch. Well, this seems insensitive. As a child star, Barbara was famous for her scream. <coughs> now at 16, she was all washed up. Has been. But in a lucky break, she'd been asked to perform her signature scream at a local convention for monster movie fans. It was just a boost her career needed. Unfortunately, hmm. her scream hadn't aged well. <laughs> mm, getting better. Uh -huh. I think you just need the right motivation. Her biggest fan and current boyfriend, Rick, was about to demonstrate when... Now that was a great scream. It was Barbara's father, Sven. He'd slipped into a table saw and had to be rushed to the emergency room. So Barbara got stuck babysitting her youngest brother, Walter. Her convention comeback was cancelled. Okay, I'm hearing frustration, but I'm not hearing terror. What if I tried... A gang of hoodlums and Halloween masks have been terrorizing Orca's Island tonight. Police are urging residents to... That came from the basement. Oh, great. You're right. 
Also, I loved your delivery on that. Why is your basement door locked? Because my dad likes making puzzles and secret passages. Mm-hmm. There's a key hidden in the music box. Oh, is there? The secret is to keep winding and winding until finally the key pops out. Thanks, babe. I'll be back in a sec. We can just leave them locked down there. 20 minutes later, Rick hadn't returned. Okay. So Barbara went to look for him right on cue. She reached for the music box. Oh, here we go. And as she wound the key, she listened for Rick, but the house was silent. Ish. She found Rick's crutch and imagined the worst. Just testing. The fuck is the gang's leader is the infamous hookman killer, Dr. Carl Hamill, who impaled and then ate his family ten years ago tonight. Some dogs are. That's not a medical procedure. Even I know that's just from watching House. Jeez, zoo. Messed up, right? Oh, God. What's this? Just trying to scare you to help you find your scream. Great. Well, I'm not scared, Rick. I'm furious. Then act furious. All I'm getting from you now is that you're hurt and confused and you're... <laughs> She threw him out, but she kept a little something to remember him by. Barb, have you seen my other crutch? And she was still holding it when she fell asleep watching the late, late picture show. Hours later... Barbara! Walter, what's going on up there? Ah! Okay, I'm coming up. But if this is a trick, you're dead, Walter. Well, I've still got me crutch. Crutch stolen from a disabled jerk. <laughs> Oh. I got it. Which one's Walter's room? It's not this one, is it? Walter, are you there? Walter vanished, but his bedside radio was still on. Orca's Island Police describe the man as six feet tall, with a steel hook for a hand. Residents are urged to lock all doors and windows and notify the police of any suspicious activity. Oh no, no. I returned, saw the hook man, and was speechless. He was quite smashing. Uh. Uh, okay, Barbara. There's got to be another way out of here. We know it. That night, she played her part beautifully. Um, crazy cat ladies. One, uh, do we follow the footsteps? She thought about abandoning Walter, but just couldn't. 
won't do it. Oh, yeah, good point, good point. Let's do this door. Bathroom. En suite. Lovely. High value marketing price. Fuck you! She wasn't moving, but she sensed this story might not be over yet. Okay, right, let's go beat the shit out of him a bit more then, I guess. Be there, still be there, please. Don't. Damn. The hookman had vanished. She listened for his breathing, but all she heard was. Duh. Someone at the door was dying to speak to young Barbara. She heard whispering. It was coming from inside the house. Ooh. <gasps> oh dear. Oh dear. No scream. Surprise! Oh. Bravo, Bob. You were wonderful. The monsters had come to surprise her. <sighs> She saw what kind of monsters they were, and she realized what was about to happen. She was going to be famous. And with her final breath, Barbara Finch gave the performance of her life. I wasn't there myself, but I hear Barbara was magnificent. Poor girl. She had a taste for stardom. But unfortunately, so did her fans. Of course, the police blamed it all on poor Rick, who disappeared the same night. And little Walter? Hiding under his bed the whole time. He took it all pretty hard. But that's another story. As for Barbara, tucked inside the music box is all they ever found of her. Her ear. Oh, God. Now that's what I call a real eerie tale. That's not so good. <laughs> Edie told me all Barbara wanted was to be remembered. As absurd as that comic was. Maybe what Edie saw was a happy ending. Maybe? It's a messed up comic, dude. That's based on a true story. That ear thing sounds real, if nothing else. What the fuck? Barb Street. Rated jobs in Crown. Saw this. Oh god, that's <laughs> B movie or not, that that unsettled me. This game by the way, this <laughs> Oh, damn it. Um How are we doing? How are we doing? I think I think now might be a decent time to uh stop for now. After that wonderful tale. Well, <laughs> I'm pretty blown away by this so far, quite frankly. It's uh, it's 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 absolutely unique. I haven't really played anything like it before. Well, I mean, there's similarities to a bunch of different things. Wow. And honestly, even though like I'm signing off right now, I feel like I don't want to talk about anything, anything like about its design in terms of like the game or anything because it's so absorbing. That I feel like that wouldn't be doing it justice, so I'll save sort of conversations about that until the end. And in the next session, in the next episode, we'll pick up and see who else we can make our little doodles of.
There's something to all this. Even if that something is nothing, the answer on its own may not even be the best outcome. So we'll see you in the next session. In the meantime, thank you very much for watching, everybody. And I will see you in the next episode.